Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this little vlog, we'll spend the weekend with me. It is Friday afternoon already. We did the pull this morning. We did little things like that. I'm really sore from working out yesterday, which has been forever since I worked out. So I'm like extremely sore today. But this is going to be like, you know, an everything type of vlog. I'm just going to talk about everything. It's going to be some reading in here. A little bit of just quite literally everything. My cat has been nonstop on me since we have gotten home. I'm currently just in my room, just relaxing. It's going to have like natural light, a little bit of natural light coming in it is about 6 in the afternoon so that explains it so we're just going to be reading zodiac academy book number seven heartless skies in here but i also want to finish this weekend powerful I haven't started it but i just got reckless in the mail what was it yesterday so i definitely want to read this to then go into reckless i am a 56 percent into this book but it's such a long book there's this is like 800 and something pages i believe or something like that and uh, this reading month for me has been going very very slow i have only read finished one book so far and it is what the 12th i think or something like that so yeah i need to get on it i also just got an arc in my emails which is for a whole series and it's reverse harem so we know i'm gonna probably most definitely devour that so i'm just trying to get these books that i want to get out of the way it's the weekend so then on monday i can probably try to start that so if i finish this which this should be a pretty quick read for me since i took like a week and some change off of reading my reading has just been terrible it's just been not there non-existent just it's not there also do not mind my hair sorry i'm all over the place i just did a deep conditioner on it so i'm letting it air dry and then i don't know what i'm gonna do to it but yeah i don't know if we're going to kid water park tomorrow or not which is not really a water park it's like it has some water slides and they have like that park in the middle it has water falling on it where you, they have little slides for the kids and things like that I have one in the town right over so we're gonna try to do that, do that and groceries <laughs> we need to do groceries we're trying to eat healthier so that should be an interesting um time at the grocery store but yeah i'm gonna get into reading i'm probably not going to say a lot about zodiac academy because i'm doing a whole zodiac academy vlog from book two to book 12 just say let's just say that i just love all the characters i love tori and darcy but i also love dear Darius and Orion, like their little, you know, I feel like if there's one thing you know about Zodiac Academy, you know that they're couples and the relationship and like friendship and just like fantasy after that a bit. If this was a TV show, I would freaking watch it. I would devour it, literally devour it. So somebody please pick that up and put it into a TV show. Do it right. Do it justice. All I know about Powerful is that it's following Adina. So this is Adina's story, I believe. But if you read, if you read Powerless, then you know how that ended. Am I going to cry at the end of this? It's like can somebody let me know in the comments if you cried or if it just like tug at your heart a little because i feel like it might tug at my heart a little so excited for reckless so if i can get to reckless i was gonna read this i think last month but i just didn't get to it i was literally in a zodiac academy frenzy i just could not stop reading i read book one to six last month and i started seven but obviously i still haven't finished it I'm really bad at, at doing these weekend vlogs because like it's like i want to take you guys along with me but then i am very just camera shy in public and i don't like just pulling out my phone and recording i just feel like it makes people uncomfortable obviously i need to just go for that i am recording on my phone just because i don't want to mix up the footage just on my camera because i'm just using that like my zodiac academy vlog and i don't want to like mix up all the fit footage and get it all over the place does it make sense look how tiny it is it is the cutest little thing ever on my bookshelf it's the tiniest i think book that i might own that's a hardback it's exciting and so cute it just looks weird next to obviously powerful i mean powerless because of the height difference and then we have reckless which is the same height as powerful i mean powerless so see how it looks whenever i put it all together for a little bit for about an hour and then i'm gonna get my son down for bed have my girls lay down and then kind of just watch youtube videos that's literally what i plan to do i'm just catching up on some youtube videos because i haven't watched any it feels like in forever but i also want to edit here a little bit in a little so maybe i'll show you guys how i edit good morning beautiful souls and <laughs> book besties it is saturday morning Morning. currently just making me some coffee because I need it like ASAP need it so what are the plans for today as my coffee is making I'm gonna tell you guys I know I wanted to take the kids to this water park I explained it yesterday kind of what it was I really want to do that with them because we haven't went this year so far and last year I didn't take them because last year my husband was deployed and I just like barely left face to be quite honest I am terrified my anxiety goes all out of the roof when I go to places first by myself but then outside of base where like I'm prone to get kidnapped or my kids can get lost or just any 
of the above. You know what I mean? I just didn't. I mean, we were going to go on time. And then the day we were going to go, it started raining. And then it was like the next week they were going to close down because of the pipe bursting or something. I was just like, you know what? It just was not meant to be. And that's okay. It just was not meant to be last year. So I really want to do that today if we can with them. This morning, I plan on reading Powerful because my Kindle is officially, it was at 13% this morning. I was like, yeah, no, we're going to charge you before you die because you have never died on me and we're not going to let that happen today. That and watching some YouTube videos. I gave my kids some breakfast. So I'm just waiting for my coffee to be done and enjoy my morning while reading. Already let Rex out. Feed the animals this morning here in a second as well. Just life is just kicking my butt most of the day i'm in here i let it air dry overnight i don't know what i'm gonna do to it i was thinking about maybe blow drying it or straightening it or something but then i was like if we go to the pool or go any to any place to get wet why would i do that you know we'll see also my hair is so light you can't really tell on video do you see that how light it is my hair is usually like black like midnight black like you black as a nice soul kind of but i kind of wanted to do like a auburn brown or something like that more like of a reddish brown in my hair but i don't know also when i go get my hair cut i want to get it more like long 90s layers because i feel like it's very flat right now and that i'm thinking about that i don't need to be thinking about right now also thinking about a new camera as well. i'm currently filming on my iphone 15 pro because like i said my other camera i'm using it to vlog just to keep my vlog separate so, i mean i can just vlog on there and kind of just separate them whenever i put the footage on but i don't want to do that that's going to take a lot more time for me i want to get other sd cards as well so that this does not happen where i have to constantly use my phone to vlog or i can just about the sd cards and be a1 asos you know there's things i can't seem to let go and i feel like i'm all on my own and someday it gets worse as you've seen in the last clip i ran out of creamer our milk and put it in and i had to add sugar because then it's gonna just taste terrible i like my coffee not too sweet but not like bitter but i usually get french vanilla we do also sometimes get this sweet and creamy one which used to be the stone cone one if you guys know you know it was bomb and then they switched to this and it's not my favorite anymore now i'm gonna go grab my book and read some okay guys we are officially back home now we spent the day at that little water park pool thing that you guys seen in the clips before which is probably one of my favorite places to take them it's just so much fun like even the parents can go down the kid slides with them especially with me having my youngest xander um he obviously needs someone to go down with him so it's just nice that we are able to do that or like go down next to our kids or whatever the case may be i did read some of powerful while there not a ton I'm only on page 26 and the goal is to literally finish this today and then finish if I do finish that then go right into finishing Zodiac Academy number seven I'm just saying that because I think that was called Heartless Skies I believe or something like that my son has this obsession with plugging things in right now so he's using my bookshelf as if he's plugging plugging it in it was a good day I had a blast there with my kids and my husband it was just one of those days where it just like it makes you appreciate everything and be thankful for it everything that you know you have because it might be your worst day but someone's probably having an even worse day than you i'm always just thankful for days like we had today where it was very easy and very nice and everyone was happy getting along as in kid wise and things like that and took a huge nap while we were there but yeah i plan on rearranging my bookshelf not rearranging them but like moving them from this little section over here which is nice so my window is literally over here and since my cats ate my ring light plug they didn't eat they like bit through the part that i need to plug it in but since they did that i need to actually 
use my natural light now. I'm gonna move my bookshelves to the wall right there, right when you're about to go into the into the room, and then set up my desk like kind of by the window, like in front of the window, basically. We're gonna, we're gonna see because my husband has his game. My husband share this room, and he has his gaming area right there. This is the master bedroom, by the way, but it was way smaller, so we switched rooms with our daughters that are right across the hall. The hall. We put them in the other room, and then we took their room. <laughs> and then this was just like our little office area that we both use, his gaming area that he uses at nighttime, sometimes during the day. But I've been trying. I usually am not in this room. If I'm being honest, I'm just not in this room just because he's usually gaming or doing something in it. But I'm trying to use it more. Also, my desk is an absolute mess. Like, just look at this. I just don't have any more room on my bookshelves. As you can see, it's packed up top up there, all the way down to the bottom. There's just no room. I need to buy another one eventually. So yeah, I have all these books that I still need to read. These are books that I haven't read, so I just have them up here because why not? We're going to try to start doing this. So I'm going to be start taking down books from up there and putting them over here. And we're just going to time lapse this because who knows how long it's going to be. Things will get hard and leave you covered in scars, but I know I could get out of this. And I feel like life moves way too fast to hold on to things from the past so good by to things I'll never miss. We don't run, now we stand together and hold on through the angry weather we all want to make something better. I know. I'm not here to talk fast, so what I'm doing is like I'm just kind of ordering them to not ranking them, but because I have my favorite books like in the middle and then out showing i have a lot of books i need to read that i just have not read yet that i obviously need to so i'm putting the books i have not read yet to the side and i'm gonna make a pile on my desk so that i know about the books that i still need to read and it's probably literally maybe i want to say maybe like 40 percent of the books on my bookshelf still need to be read and what i'm trying to do so i'm gonna do this and then once i'm done with everything i will show you guys how everything is going i do want to get some cute little book artsy things to put on my side of the wall over here and then after this we can relax and read which i'm looking forward to doing and my trust has been torn and shredded it's been rough but i try to forget okay, it start over here this is obviously my favorite mess section up there probably one of my favorite sections i used to have um fourth wing and iron throne up there as well but there wasn't enough room yeah this is how that is looking those are all the books that i have by them i do have these over here because i haven't read them yet that's why a court of silver flames isn't with the rest of the court of thorns and roses series but i also need to get the paperback of that one so that it kind of just all fits as well and then down here we have some of my other favorite series which obviously fourth wing the red queen series the coven duet i just only have the first one in that one um for zodiac academy the only two books i have by them and then the crepe series that i have okay let's get back to over here then over here we just have other series that i've read that i that i've enjoyed and this is more like my fantasy romance or fantasy bookshelf i should say so there is that then going downwards the next two shelves are books that i just have not read yet that i need to read that i decided to kind of just put in different sections so that i know and i'm not searching for them sorry my son's over here playing on my bookshelves there are some more and then the bottom shelves are books that i read a very very long time ago i mean there is a done down there that i haven't read but i honestly don't think i'm probably gonna read that some nicholas Sparks books that i have read a long time Time ago and then we come over here and we're gonna start from the very very top have my colleen hoover books the ones that i've owned there's quite a bit of them that i still haven't read these two shelves right here are probably my favorite shelves they are my favorite romance books and i do also have some behind there that are my favorite as well but here is a look at them absolutely love it obviously paralysis is over here because there just wasn't room over there so i just kept it here there is this one down here that is another one of my favorites if you have watched my channel before or even follow like my bookstagram or anything like that, you will see that I'm always raving about Ammo Jones and Tate James and Jay Bree because they're my favorite. They're kind of oh and CM Stunch. We can't forget about her. Okay, my son's kind of down here in the section, but here are more books. Here's another one of 
I don't, I can't even, I just love these, but these are like more of like, I love them books that I have read. That's kind of just stacked up in there like that. And then these are books that, I mean, there are some down here that I did really enjoy, but like, there are not ones that I think about constantly, if that makes sense. It's kind of just how my bookshelves are looking right now. And then we come over here and these are all books that I still need to read as well. They're just stacked up there to remind me that I need to get my reading on. And that's literally everything that I did. Oh, I also put this like in the corner over here. This is a window I was telling you guys about. Okay, here they're going to fight. window I was telling you guys about and it comes right in front of here. So I can just literally just set my chair up there and get my videos on. So this is how everything is looking kind of like the background of if I was sitting at my desk right now. So kind of like you get that and you get like a little sliver of my um bookshelf but this is not going to be where like i would be filming i mean i guess i could technically like move out more and like sit right here and have that as my background but i really wanted to have my bookshelves as my back this is how everything is coming together not hating it not mad about it now i just need to get stuff to put on the walls over here i know these drinks are really bad for you the starbucks coffee drinks i caught a uh, snickers and twix flavored one and we're gonna try it this morning so that's what we're gonna go do right now okay, so we are about to try it so i have here this is the twix one i'm just gonna mix that all up and then snickers these are two of my favorite candy and snickers so let's shake this up all right let's try it wow that really tastes like like twix okay that really tastes like Twix. it really has like that car caramel flavor afterwards and like that i don't know how to explain it it's not breading in it but you know like the crunchy stuff in it i can't think about what it is right now it really has like that aspect of that flavor which yum sorry my house is hectic right now so that one's good these aren't ones where i'll originally keep getting if i like it doesn't make sense these are just more like i wanted to try them so we're gonna try snickers now let's see i i'm hoping i really like this one more I, twix wasn't though too, it wasn't bad but not my favorite Oh, this definitely has like the more peanut flavor to it. I don't think either of these are my favorite, but kind of tastes like if you're biting into it, just don't like it as a drink. Okay, that was pretty hectic. Let me just try to say what I was saying. Okay, Snickers takes more like peanuts. I don't know. It's like when you first taste it, it just tastes like weird. And then aftertaste is like peanut taste. It's not my favorite. I had really had hopes for this one and it's just, it's not doing it for me. I would prefer to drink the Twix one because it's more caramel flavor. And like I said, the Snicker tastes more like peanuts, the aftertaste of it. But you know, that was a little fun thing to taste. Not my favorite. I don't know if they have different candy flavors. I just seen those two and I was like, oh, I'm grabbing them. I'll try them and they were okay like i said they're not my favorite i bet there could be worse out there so i'm gonna try to drink my twix one <laughs> and give my husband the snickers one and read for a little bit this morning because i need to get some reading done and then i need to film and edit because i have not edited at all this weekend like i wanted to those are my plans for today it's been a day i still have not recorded guys but i did finish powerful and i ended up getting it four stars it was sad freaking sad is there any way that she could like come back like does that make sense like what is going on you have read powerless then you know what happens at the end and just getting being able to get Adina's story and see that she did love Peyton and she knew that their friendship was one of a kind they're basically like soulmate like soulmates but friends and they loved each other like no other like they, they were all they had I think he's saying Mac until Mac came in and he showed her a different type of love and showed like from her kindness she showed him that it's okay to just keep living on it's okay to smile to earn that back to not be afraid of whatever happened to him in his past and they comfort each other or she comforted him in times that he needed and made him smile when he needed it the most but at the end i think they they enjoyed each other's company a whole lot her heart hurts for him i think it was just really well written it was good to get her side of the story and to see how she ended up where she ended up because when you read powerless you see that you don't get to see her side of the story of how she ended up where she ended up and things like that we're in Peyton's point of view. So I can't wait to go read Reckless and see what happens. <laughs> Jeez. Guys, I totally forgot to end the vlog yesterday. So I'm just on this morning to say I hope you guys had a great weekend. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.